from roadmap updates sneak peeks and so much more that you can get from the revolution marketplace and also things that you can find in the forum today we're going to cover a huge amount of news about the progress and development of iClone from the guys at revolution Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of roadmap that has been set up for Relution, iClone and at the same time we're also going to talk about some things which will be coming out for iClone 8. So we're going to start off by talking about some of the roadmap features that have been set up for iClone 2020. So previously we did talk about the character creator and so many things that they've shared and today we're going to take a look at iClone and some of the new features that you should be expecting. So from iClone 7.8 update, iClone 7.9 update and also iClone 10, there's going to be a couple of features that you definitely want to see. So from the iClone 7.8 updates like the subsurface you know scattering shader for both props assets and also accessories will be coming the character creator 3 new character base is also something that will be part of the new features that will be coming over to the iClone 7.8 we're also going to be getting an auto setup for the dh shader which is going to be available and one more cool thing that will be coming is the unreal engine live link for both prop transfer and cloth physics and we've already talked about the unreal engine live link being free for artists so in case you want to use this tool you want to get it link is going to be in the description and you'll be able to have this tool and use it so the unreal engine live link is there but then they are looking forward to getting the unreal engine you know transfer for both clothes physics so in case you have your clothes simulated properly you can transfer those and at the same time transferring things that has to do with props over to unreal engine there is a lot of you know refinement in terms of shading that is going on with the guys at Relution, and this is not only happening for the iClone but on the other hand we're also seeing this happening for the character creator which is something very very you know awesome to take a look at now moving on from that there is also going to be a couple of updates that you would be expecting that would be coming over to the iClone 7.9 so the iClone 7.9 will be coming with dynamic wrinkle with a new facial lip sync the iClone 7.10 will also be coming with a facial hair system so the facial hair system is also something that we teased about and we also talked about it as one of the roadmap features that will be coming with the character creator over a period of time within the year and this is really cool to see that they are working side by side with the both tools as the two of them do have a very wonderful handshake and it will make a lot of sense if you can simply transfer your mesh from one part to another and simply get some very awesome things going on so with all of these things said some of the things that you guys need to know that has been teased for the new version of iClone 8 so just in case you're trying to get into iClone or you're trying to get into Relution there's a couple of you know very neat features that has been teased that will be coming for iClone 8 and these things include the visual enhancements that has to do with mirror so the number one voted feature that a lot of people have actually talked about is the mirror feature so everybody wants to see you know a reflection of what their character looks like you want to get that you know reflectance going on directly there you want to get that mirror feature going in especially for anyone that is into things that has to do with pre-visualization this is definitely going to be very very neat and useful for for you guys so this is one of the most requested feature and it's really cool to see that it's coming the next one is the lens flare so lens flare is also something really cool that will be coming over to you know iClone and you can actually take a look at the image which we have directly here and you can see what it looks like without the lens flare of course probably a lot of people actually lived without this all right but then when you start taking a look at what the lens flare looks like it is really marvelous pretty nice i mean for you to see that a tool like this actually has this and in situations where you're trying to do more like an outdoor scene you can also take a look at what you know beauty this adds up into your scene so this is pretty neat to see that it's also coming and another thing that is coming over to iClone as well is volumetric lighting and i think a lot of people actually wanted to see this one too and it makes sense if you're getting you know if you're getting the lens flare it also makes sense to actually work on that same technology and get volumetric lighting which is also cool so right now i can see a whole lot of people not doing just 
pre-visualization or rendering cool stuff but then they can now push the bounds to do things like architectural visualization inside here you know for just preview and at the same time for production sake so this is definitely going to be one neat and you know pretty cool feature that is also going to be here and since iClone is a tool which you can use for motions and stuff it's really cool to note that they are now adding a brand new motion blur so motion blur is being revealed to be coming out with the new version and these are tiny sneak peeks that they're just you know keeping here and there dropping a couple of easter eggs about things that you should be expecting for the iClone 8 and it's really really cool to see these things you know push and make their way into a tool that has been evolving over a period of time with trends and stuff and one more feature which i think is you know one cool feature that you guys need to take a look at is the enhanced tta so the enhanced tta has to do with the anti-aliasing stuff which you can do directly here and it is really cool to see that you can have a perfect anti-aliased you know object now directly on your scene so without this without the temporary anti-aliasing you will get an image that looks like this and now once you have an enhanced version you are definitely going to get something that looks like that and so with all of these packed features coming over to the new version of iClone 8 it is just very interesting to see what and what we are going to get and the roadmap seems to be very interesting i like the idea about the subsurface scattering for both assets and stuff i'm very very excited about the whole visual stuff that will be coming that has to do with visual enhancement and it is just very neat to see that you know they're trying as much as they can to push the bounds between what we can get directly in iClone and what you can get when you get to mix iClone with a very powerful engine like unreal engine and these things are one of those things that will definitely you know fuse this app with so many other apps in the long run a few days back we talked about the character creator and the roadmap so the smart gallery is now here and in case you want to use this tool you can now have access to the smart gallery and a very cool thing with the smart gallery is you can now go in there get anything you want from the marketplace and you can drag these things into your scene test them out you know play with these things firsthand before you choose to make a purchase and this is one way of getting very close to the users and the audience and trying to cement the idea of you can try these things first before you go in to make a purchase for it so i think if a whole lot of other companies get to integrate an idea like this it is definitely going to make a lot of sense so this is one very neat thing that the guys at relation have done that i respect a whole lot and they have actually pushed a couple of things in and it is very insane to note that you can now arrange your content test out your content preview contents that are on the play store and on the marketplace before you go through to purchase them and still speaking about things that you can purchase and you know test out they do have a couple of free stuff that you can get from the marketplace so in case you've never heard about this there is a spring joint that is also available so in case you want to get this you can go over to the marketplace i'm going to put a link in the description so you can get that and you can simply get this especially if you're into creating bouncy objects spring-like objects you're trying to create things like ropes you're trying to create some sort of bone hierarchy and stuff this is a physics based stuff that you can actually download for free and use and also you can choose to also play with the audio driven tools that are also available directly here and if you're into making mixes you're trying to you know visualize an audio they do have a whole lot of other contents that you can get for free so simply go over to the link which i'm going to put in the description and check these things out and get very good with them and speaking about things you can also get good with you can also choose to get the free version of iClone and also character creator or you can choose to make a one-time payment and actually own these things for life if you're looking forward to creating 3d head models without spending so much time they do have a plugin called the headshot plugin which will save you a mammoth amount of time for creating the 3d head model and the character so you can go over to the link in the description where you can get the tool and also learn how to work with it as we do have a video that covers that also, if you want to create a full 3D model and you don't want to spend so much time doing that, they do have a wonderful tool known as a character creator. And we also have a video that covers about things that you need to note, especially if you want to get started with that. And of course, if you want to get the licensed version of iClone character creator or the headshot plugin, keep an eye on the notification as we are still going to do a giveaway 
extremely extremely soon so criterias for that will be dropping in very soon probably this week or next week and i would like to see what you guys can come up with once the criterias is out and that's about it i'd like to know what you guys think about all of these things all of these cool things in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from it you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace